you got the uh, two-time undisputed, and I guess in, in the name of Clarissa Shields, we got the two-time undisputed world champion Terrence Bud Crawford. However, for the males, I guess, you know, coming off of the Errol Spence win, there's a lot of question if Errol Spence will even be able to fight in December. Um, I, I read something vaguely. Um, don't take this to the bank because I didn't really research. I read something vaguely. Errol Spence is suspended for like two months. I think like for like just like the protection of himself. Oh, OK. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so let's say maybe that's not on the table next. Right. So let's take Spence rematch off the table for now. Mm-hmm. I guess what would you like to see next from Bud Crawford? I mean, it has to be something that's realistic too. We know Mel is about to fight. Say, Canelo. You know, so would you say Bud wait for that to be done, or would would you think take a fifty four fight in the meantime, or take another forty seven fight? What you what do you want to see from Bud? To be honest, I mean, I would prefer Bud just to like take on a fight with because he didn't take much punishment against the Errol Spence fight, right? Mm-hmm. Walk through Errol Spence. Mm-hmm. One of the easiest fights to date. Um, personally, me, I would rather him go and face off against boot, Boots. Mm-hmm. I think he's deserving of it. You know, why not? He's the next best thing coming out of 147, right? Like, if you yeah. want to give the big fights, right, and challenge yourself and beat the best, then Boots is just the next best option. Um, yeah. But I did hear him um, come out, um, I think, on Hot 97, as an interview where he said he's looking for kind of like, the big money fight. So that already kind of, t- and I kind of already knew because this fight already took so many years to make anyway between him and Al Spence, right? Yeah. So when, for some reason, when it comes to like just huge fights, it just take that much longer and Boots will probably be the same. I don't see Bud just jumping into that fight as easily because the, the Spence fight had to take an obscene amount of time and he even admitted that the fight would never happen if it wasn't for Errol Spence, right? Yeah. So, Personally, I would like to see the but, the Boots versus uh, Crawford fight. If we don't get that, personally, I, I really don't even care who he fights. He could retire for all I care because he did enough, right? And yeah. at that point, I'm not really interested in any other fights that he would take, you know? And then another thing with Charlo, Charlo goes and fights Canelo. I don't even know if he comes back at 154, mm-hmm. right? Like, he may go down to 160. And then if he comes down to 160, 160- 54, it depends on the outcome between him and Canelo. Like, if Canelo knocks him out, right, stops him, knocks him out, and he comes down to 154 to fight Crawford, like, why? You know, why mm-hmm. I think that fight is like, ah, you're damaged goods at that point. So I guess we'll have to really wait and see the outcome of the uh, Jamel versus Canelo fight. But Yeah, so I guess the, the, the what I will say about that is – even though he didn't take – even though Crawford didn't take a lot of punishment against Spence, sometimes those – you know, intense training camps, like I'm sure he had for Spence, sometimes just mentally that drains you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So to, to, to get himself back up for a, maybe a similar, maybe to a lesser extent training camp to go fight boots again is probably, I, I think would be unrealistic. Right. So I don't, I don't think it's just the threat of, you know, boots being such a good fighter, but I think Terrence even admitted the training camp was so grueling because like he went to a different place for this training camp. And I, and I think even though with the fight, he didn't take punishment, I think he's probably not re- excited to jump back into another training camp like that. So I would say what I think is most realistic, it's probably taking a 54 fight with probably Tim Zhu or maybe someone like Erickson Lubin. Um, I, I, I think those would be good fights. I'm, I'm sure Crawford will go into both of those fights probably heavily favored. But those, those are good tests because those guys are a little bit bigger. They're both pretty big punchers at, at the division, you know, so it gives you a chance to really – test out um durability you know because we know it's boxing everyone's gonna get hit you know so between lubin and zoo i think those would be good fights at 54 you know anticipating that he still wants the male fight down the line now in regards to mel and canelo what i'm what i'm hoping is you know unless mel wins right then boom stay at 68 i completely understand that but if he if he loses i would say you know just go right back to 54 because maybe that won't have, unless he takes severe punishment, maybe it won't take as much out of his body as someone like, let's say, Roy Jones, who, is, who like, you know, stayed at heavyweight for an extended amount of time and then, you know, went back down. So maybe if it's just like one fight, like a flash of lightning, maybe it's not as hard as if you've been continuing to do it. You get what I'm saying? Like, let's say if he stays at 68 for two years and says, no, I'm going to go back to 54 versus, you know, 
I'm going to just do it this one fight. I'm hoping maybe that doesn't have too much of an impact on his body. Then he goes back. But, I mean, they're going to strip him. So, yeah. does Bud want to fight him without the titles? Does, does he have that much disdain and animosity? Yeah, I think he's going to fight him without the title. That bro. he wants to fight him anyway. Which would yeah. make sense because if you're going to rematch Spence at 54, it's not for the titles anyway. So, you yeah. could then just it's fight because of the rematch clause, though. That's the really re only reason why I think he's taking that fight. Because they yeah. have, contractually he has to do it. Right, 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 right. But I, I, I guess I'm just kind of going off of how they, how they spoke about, you know, because Arrow was like, you know, I, I, I hope to have, you know, he's like, I hope you would give me the rematch at 54, you know. And Bud sounded like he would oblige, but he could easily said, Nah, we're doing it at 147 again. So I'm, so that just tells me, you know, Bud will fight titles or no titles. You know what I mean? So I could see him fighting Charlo, no titles as well, even if they strip Charlo, but. I, I I do wish maybe we could have just got the Charlo fight before, before the whole Canelo thing, but I know I know, yeah. I know the Mall situation, you know. But I agree. When when Jamal couldn't do it, man, they should have put Benavides in there. <laughs> they should have put they just threw, yeah threw it right in there, like yo <laughs> yeah. But nah, the 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 and not to get too much into it, but the Bud versus Mel just. Do you think that would give us more of the fight that we were looking for and anticipating? Or at this point, are you kind of just unsure? I mean, I would say if if he was going into if Bud was going into that fight, if yeah, yeah, let's, let's say it was next. If it was next. Yeah, if, if yeah, if Jamel was not going up to 168, I truly believe it would be more competitive than the Errol Spence and Crawford fight at 147. But yeah. now that he's moving up, I just don't know what's going to happen, you know? Right. And his, history says you jumping up weight classes, coming down, it doesn't have a good effect on the body, you know, because your body's trying to figure out, all right, what are we doing here? You know, because you're going through training camp, gaining weight, losing weight, right? So, like you said, it depends on the duration of time that elapses mm -hmm. between that time. And it also depends on, like, how bad he loses to Canelo, if he loses at all, right? Mm -hmm. It's so many different factors. So, we're kind of like in a, you know, in the dead zone space, you know. So, so, but it, it would have been more competitive, I would say. I would have to, if I had to uh, guess, I would say it would have been more competitive. Yeah, because speaking of Canelo, that's a guy who kind of moves around weight classes, right? But he doesn't really spend too much time outside of the weight class that he wants to really, really fight in. You get what I'm saying? Like, so he's gone up to 75 twice, but it definitely wasn't back to back fights, right? Went up to 75, came back. For an extended period of time at 68, tested 75 again, then went right back to 68 for a couple fights. And you know, yeah, but this is different. You jumping up two weight classes, bro. 14 yeah. pounds is not like you going up just one. He jumping up two weight classes. That's like a that's a big difference. Yeah, no, yeah, it, 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 is, it is a big difference. Yeah, yeah. That that if it had been one weight, if he just went up to 160, I'd have been like, okay. But you jumping up to 168, even though you're already a big guy, is just. You got to be able to move with that weight, lose the weight, 14 pounds. And then stylistically, you move around already as it is. You didn't have mm -hmm. to change your style like Canelo where, you know, Canelo now just loads up where he's just trying to come and just take you out, right? So it, it's, it's hard to say, man. But, I mean, I would have loved to see that fight, though, you know. Yeah. For all the belts on the line, you fight Crawford, who's considered pound for pound the best in the world. And it's this disdain, right? Are you going, you know, avenge your brother? You gonna get it back in blood for my man Arrow, or you know, Crawford? Are you just that, you know, that dog that you gonna go and and take it from the whole group, right? Uh, right from Derek James's camp, like yeah. you know. So yeah, let, let me ask you this, Shakur, right? Yeah, and I, I know that's his boy. You got to stand by your boy, but Shakur said he thinks Canelo doesn't have the skills to stand with Bud. He think Bud would. Go up and beat Canelo too. Yeah, he's what? smoking crack cocaine. He's obviously biased. Like, even even Bud said himself, one sixty eight is too much. Like, that's yeah. just too much for him, you know. And Bud was honest with that, which is obvious. If Bud went up there to fight those big guys, he's getting smoked. Like, yeah. he has the skill, but when you're going against true size and power, the skill set usually goes out the window. Right? It's always the big. The good big man will always beat the greats to a smaller man. Like that's just mm -hmm. how it is. So him going up and wait, you 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 gotta take it. What yeah. you're dishing out, you gotta be able to absorb it and take it. Like you got monsters up there. You got Benavidez, 
You know, Canelo, yeah, he's not the same fighter, but come on. You don't know how. And we know Canelo got a granite chin. Yeah. So you ain't just going to be walking up there, waltzing through, right through him. If nah. he's taking punishment from Triple G, he's taking punishment from he light heavyweights, you're not going to go in and just out punch mm -hmm. him. You know, you can probably try to outbox him, but eventually, it's when he's to you. touching you up, are you going to be able to absorb that? You know, yeah. especially for Bud coming up with those small weight classes. Come on, it's out. He's not no. He's okay. No. Yeah. As great as Bud is, absolutely not. I, I, I thought it was I thought it was kind of crazy because I think even at even at this age, bro, I don't think I don't think Bud would get through triple G at this age, bro. I think it's just too much size and strength. You know too what I'm saying? Size and strength, bro. And, and then, you know what they say? The punching power is the last thing to go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. I I don't know. I just I just heard it, you know what I'm saying? I and mean, I was just like, damn, that's kind of wild, bro. Like, I know I should man, but that's kind of wild, you know, wild, what I'm saying? Bro. to even kind of entertain that. 